Alright YouTube, so I believe I probably made this video almost a year ago. I believe I may have made this in February. Um, but uh, I was kind of newer to the ranting thing and I think now is the perfect time to redo that video. I'm going to tell you the truth about sat Satanism, Satanism from a former Satanist. And this isn't going to be one of those tales about how I was kidnapped as a little kid, raped relentlessly, and uh, abused in the name of the almighty Baphomet. Um, no, no, no. I'm the furthest thing from a born-again Christian that's not one of those phony-ass testimonies. What I'm... At, for me, Satanism was just the beginning to my occult venture, if you will. And I know a lot of the Christians on this video are already typing propaganda about Satanism pumped from straight <laughs> straight out of like 1986. Um, but... Please listen to this video first. And I'm sure, you know, I've gotten the comment for, oh, you know nothing, you're just 18, you haven't, you have minimal life skills, you've barely lived your life. Um, in the realm of spirituality, spirituality, um, I don't really see it as a certain age. I mean, yes, you may need a certain age to do certain things to learn new things and stuff like that but I think your mind is either born with a certain set time to kind of explore this or you just don't have it at all so I'm gonna tell you some misconceptions of Satanism Number one, and probably the most common of all time, is Christians seem to believe that all Satanists literally believe in Satan in the way and um, worship Satan in the same way that Christians view, believe in, and worship Jehovah, Yahusha, God whatever the hell you call him there's like four thousand different fucking pronunciations of the guy's name anyway and that might be true to an extent because there's three main camps in Satanism for a little bit the first one is the absolute most common it's the one Anton LaVey pretty much formed it's it's either LaVey Satanism or atheistic Satanism. They're one and the same except one you pay to get a little red card that says you're a member of the Church of Satan. And the other, it's kind of like a Christian who doesn't go to church. The second camp would be like theistic Satanism. Those would be the people who view Satan as the good guy in the Bible, which is debatably so, and would believe in him in the same light that, and this is to my knowledge, I can't vouch 100%, this is from my understanding, and literally believe him to be true. The third one is probably the least common of all of them. It's the um, devil worshippers, you know, the ones that'll steal your pug, puppy, you know, abduct your little child. And usually that's, I don't even know if this is even a real thing anymore. Half these people just say that, and you notice they're all in jail. Because they're really fucked up people, and they think that saying, I'm a Satanist, means that they'll just get thrown in the loony bin for a decade, and get out of doing hard jail time. So I don't even know if these people actually exist anymore. Um, 
The fourth group would be like those weird fringe groups like Joy of Satan. That It's kind of like a cult. They believe that religion, like Abrahamic religion, was developed on the moon by reptilians and given to humanity. Satan is like a benevolent version of God. And if you don't uh, submit to Satan, or you don't view him as a true savior, you will just keep reincarnating on earth until you accept him as, it's kind of like Christianity, as the uh, true God. So, I'm mainly doing this from an atheistic Satanist perspective, because I was an atheistic Satanist. Satanists do not believe in Satan as a literal deity. They don't even really worship Satan. They just use Satan as a representation, a symbol of rebellion, free thinking, rationalism, um, the thirst for knowledge, etc., etc. So they see Satan in the light of an intellectual, someone who challenged the status quo, stuff like that, because, you know, he tempted Adam and Eve in the garden. They ate the apple, the rest is history. This is actually an old tale from, I can't remember which pantheon, but I know it was Enki who tempted two people in a garden. They ate the tree, the fruit from the tree, and they were actually heralded as smart people and celebrated for eating the fruit off the tree. Now, when the Jewish got a hold of this lore, they inverted it and made a perverse version, essentially shaming the people for eating the fruit and inadvertently or maybe implying that they reward ignorance. Another one is Satanist will steal your children and or your pets, sacrifice them or molest them or brutally beat them in front of like a Baphomet statue to appease the dark over overlord Lucifer even though Lucifer is not even an interchangeable word for Satan that's a different video but to make it short Lucifer is actually just Latin for an object which bears light so you can say this laptop screen that's emitting light is a Luciferian object Um, there's something in atheistic Satanism, at least, called the Eleven Satanic Rules of the Earth, but usually just called the Eleven Rules of the Earth. Harming children and animals is strictly prohibited in Rules 9 and 10 of this list. 9 is literally, do not harm little children. 10 verbatim is do not kill non-human animals unless you are attacked or for your food. Meaning that if you're just hunting to put a giant um, game head above your fireplace, you're an asshole. And this kind of goes back to those satanic panic claims where really there is no evidence to suggest they did do any of this and most of the time uh, excuse me I have a lot of regurgitation problems um well acid reflexy uh, type issues on top of insomnia <sighs> sorry um most of these are baseless claims 
formed by Christians. This probably started out when all this news broke out, when all this, these headlines came out in the 80s. Pastor Jim started is accused of diddling 40 little boys at his local church. And then the parents, in, a, in confusion, explain to their kids that Satan, Satan got into them, or demons possessed them, or they wor worshipped Lucifer in secrecy. But yeah, it's, that's about it for this video. I only wanted to address two of the pro probably biggest two misconceptions of Satanism. These two claims are basically fueled by 1980s anti-satanic propaganda. Or oddly around the time when people were kind of researching and kind of getting into paganism, Wicca, uh, maybe Satanism to an extent atheism because at this point the conservatives and like the fundamentalist Christian conservatives of the 80s were struggling to hold power and they really needed that extra fuel to reassure people's faith in the, the Lord Jesus Christ so in, a, in conclusion a atheistic Satanist at least doesn't literally worship Satan and won't steal your pets and children to commit heinous crimes to appease the overlord. Um, so yeah, if you're a Christian, I hope this kind of explained in depth a little more to you. Um, I'm AK Sliced You. You like this video, subscribe. To my Satanist viewers out there, Ave Satanist. Peace out.